Hey guys, welcome to Medicine Medicine. After a long segment of toxicology that you guys were probably bored of, we are here today with pediatrics. We were thoughtful about the topics to be chosen for our tutorial video, then we thought it should be something very simple, mundane yet quite informative and important. So, here we are presenting you the topic cow milk protein allergy. So, as the name suggests, this condition results as an allergic response to cow's milk protein. It affects about 2-6% to of all the children with the highest prevalence during first year of life and it is also one of the most common food allergies seen in small children. And the question is, is this allergy always due to cow's milk only? Maybe or maybe not. As this has been occasionally seen in breastfed babies due to passes of cow milk antigen in their mother's breast milk. Did you know that 50% of babies with such allergy have it resolved within first year of their lives? Allergic reaction to cow's milk may be either immediate or delayed. Immediate reaction is immunoglobulin E mediated and occurs within minutes of milk intake and is associated with vomiting, pallor, shock like state, arthritic area and swelling of lips. Whereas delayed response is T cell mediated and it follows an indolent course and usually presents with GI symptoms or skin manifestations. The babies with cow milk protein allergy would usually present with diarrhea associated with blood and mucus. Also, reflux symptoms and upper GI bleeding, though rare, could be seen sometimes. If respiratory system is involved, there is allergic rhinitis or asthma. And the skin manifestations could be there in the form of eczema or angioedema. Similarly, one can see iron deficiency anemia, hypoproteinemia or eosinophilia. As we know that cow's milk has been an indispensable part of every children's life. We children had been fed with cow's milk, some are still being fed with cow's milk and people will still continue to feed their children with cow's milk which makes any allergic reaction to cow's milk quite worrisome, isn't it? But this allergy imposes the baby to real risk of rickets, anemia, poor growth and hypoalbuminemia as a result of deprivation of essential nutrients due to allergy because as soon as the baby has allergy, it will be reluctant to feeding and these conditions might result. In case of immediate response to allergy, there might be immediate clinical reactions whereas in case of delayed response, the baby might suffer from severe chronic enteropathy. The diagnosis of cow's milk protein allergy could be quite difficult as the symptoms manifested in this allergy correlate with other diseases rather than the allergy itself and it is also found that this allergy is quite often confused with lactose intolerance. However, this diagnosis can help us to get into a proper conclusion. The major one is serum IgE test which will show elevated IgE level in case of immediate response to cow's milk protein. Another diagnostic measure could be sigmoidoscopy, which would present with nodular lymphoid hyperplasia in the sigmoid region. The picture here is the histological representation of the rectal biopsy, which shows large number of eosinophils. Rectal biopsy provides clue to greater than 95% of the cases, irrespective of the clinical presentation, and is considered first-line investigation for diagnosing the suspected case of cow's milk protein allergy. And the last one is gold standard for diagnosis that is elimination and challenge test which includes avoiding cow's milk and seeing whether the symptoms subside after cow's milk withdrawal and confirming it again by reintroduction of cow's milk and seeing if the symptoms reoccur within 48 hours of reintroduction. The best treatment for any baby with cow's milk protein allergy manifested together with GI symptoms could be avoiding animal milk and milk products. Similarly, if the baby is present with allergy but not with associated GI symptoms then he can be fed on soya or lactose formula feeding by hydrolyzing it. Similarly, the baby should be supplemented with elemental amino acid and calcium so that the baby doesn't get deprived of any essential nutrients as a result of allergy. Here we are at the end of our tutorial video. We shall be coming up with other video on pediatrics as well as on other major subjects. If you have any queries, drop them in comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon.